Good morning, everybody. How we doing today? Another lovely day headed to the Outer Banks. Hope everybody's having a great day so far. Today is Saturday. It's my day off. And typically with the Saturdays, we know this traffic is going to be a mess. I'm about to come out right here at the light. I'm on Poplar Branch Road right here in Currituck on the back roads. Just left my house about 10 minutes ago. And 10 minutes before that, I just opened my eyes. It's currently 8 a.m. I have the day off, but I'm headed to the beach anyway. Just so happens yesterday, I was not able to film. And honestly, guys, I got pretty upset about that. I felt like I was cheating on you or something. But that's not the case at all. Yesterday just so happened to be a very hectic day for me. I'll tell you about it here in just a minute after I point out how much traffic is on the other side here. Leaving the Outer Banks. Like I said, it's Saturday. Check out time has begun long line of traffic but as you can see on my side i'm cruising and that's because check-in time is about 4 p.m and the reverse is going to happen a little later this afternoon probably just about three or four hours from now so yesterday was just one of those days woke up late running late to work and then also i got off late i didn't get off till 6 p.m yesterday the guys were running late you take a big guess of why they were late. Some of them have day jobs and they were coming from Kerala and that Kerala traffic can be a nightmare to get out of. Sometimes it could take you as much as two to three hours to get back into Kitty Hawk on the right day. So another funny little thing that happened to me yesterday while I was not recording and I was running late for work as I'm sitting on the highway my man from OBX TV pulls up right beside me. He said, hey, the real Outer Banks. I was like, oh man, he caught me with my pants down. I'm not even recording today. Very nice gentleman, very friendly. You should definitely go check out his videos. He's got a lot of cool videos, OBX TV. And I'm hoping one day we can do a collab. Yesterday could have been that day, but I was running late. I wasn't filming, my batteries were dead. All kinds of things were going on preventing me. But I tell you what, I really felt like I missed out. This is part of my daily routine now to turn this camera on and show you guys around the OBX. And uh, I was very disappointed yesterday that I could not film for you guys. So we're gonna make up for it today, back at it. Like I said, it's my day off and any crazy person would be leaving Currituck to go towards the beach on a Saturday. But it's gonna be worth it to me. I'm going all the way down here just to jump in the water and then Whatever happens from there, I keep this channel very unscripted. So, when we get a little bit up the road, because Currituck is pretty boring, just wanted to show you guys the other side of the highway leaving the Outer Banks. Turn the camera back on when we get across the bridge. Thanks for watching. Cruising through Currituck. Just got into that 45 mile an hour zone right before the bridge. And there's a couple people flying. And it looks like, as soon as I said that, Mr. Police Man got somebody. This is not the section to speed in, guys. See the guy that I originally thought he was going to pull over slowed right on down. And that was actually a car that just passed me just a couple minutes ago. And now his day will be held up even further. It's a shark tank through this section, guys. Here we go, the Golden Gates to the Outer Banks, the Wright Memorial Bridge. Beautiful day outside, and I always like to appreciate the sun shining right over the water, and we'll be touching those ocean waves here shortly. And the reason I'm coming out here this early is because, well, one, my internal alarm gets me up no matter what, but two, from the knowledge from this channel, I've learned that I can go get a spot at the beach no problem between eight and nine coming off the bridge here welcome to kitty hawk and kitty hawk is actually where we'll probably be doing our beach time this morning for a third reason of why i'm coming out here this early just to go to the beach is because the beach itself will put you in a great mood for the rest of the day look at all that traffic on the other side which also means i'm going to be out here for just a little bit let it break up probably be out here until about lunchtime. So we're gonna explore around. Buckle up your seat belts, ladies and gentlemen. 
Thanks for riding the passenger seat. And I'll pretty much be just getting on the beach road right away. Take the middle road. As you can see, the Corolla turns already starting to get a little busy. People here early. Pretty much just gonna get up here and wait for my clear shot from the other side of the road so that I can make that left turn without having to sit in the middle lane for too long because you just become a sitting duck. Both sides of the highway flying past you. We're gonna go right here. I have no idea what this street is. It just looked convenient. Let you guys know here in just a second. I probably could have just parked right here. I actually just saw a friend of mine, so I am going to go right here. So I just had to clean it up and put some new wax on it. As luck would have it, turned out here onto the street. Saw a buddy of mine on the side of the road and said, you know what, this is where I'm going. He's over here prepping his board. Got to go catch some waves. I'm going to go ahead and head out there. See if I can catch some surfer action today. We are at Bennett Street. Have to remember this one for the future. But you got to get here early. And it is now full. We're going to go ahead. He told me we should be able to catch some surfing action this morning. Even better. And I'm going to go for a swim. And the guy was just talking back there about they like to go hunting these waves out and sometimes they're better at different accesses but he gave them some a little bit of advice on the way out and that was to not try to move around too much just because it's saturday it's going to be hard to find parking i was just talking about always love the beach in kitty hawk there's pretty much nobody out here just these guys coming to surf and i'm gonna get over here and go ahead and get in the water catch back up with them here in a few Well worth the travel coming out here this morning on my day off. I could have just stayed home, kick my feet up and be lazy, but that just ain't me. It's become my favorite thing right here. And I couldn't imagine doing anything else better on my day off. Water feels pretty good. Of course, I'm only going to put my feet in it for now some nice waves today the surfers are in luck this morning let's get up in there with them although that does not look good a lot of dark clouds over there coming this way oh no hopefully they don't bother us even if they do i'm out here now and i ain't going nowhere Fuck yeah, dude.
up guys i think i'm out here for the all morning man i was just in the water for about 30 minutes got my buddies out there surfing i'm going to chat with them here in just a few and uh, i'm prepared to stay out here most of the day hopefully my camera don't die or anything while i'm out here we do have this uh nice dark cloud coming in but it looks small nobody's scared of getting rained on be all right we're already in the water might as well continue getting wet my guys are out there having loads of fun they got out here early nobody else really on the beach it is only about 9 a.m get the little crab hey buddy he's going back in his hole oh little camera shot he was a big one they're harmless Here goes Mike, he's gonna get barrel. Or he's gonna do a turn. Nice. Oh, nice turn. So there's a family. I love Kitty Hawk, man. Like, time I come out this way, it's just a different vibe. I do kill double hills and nags head a lot, but it's it's just always, I don't know, it's kind of busy out. This is more mellow vibe out this way. Right. There is less parking in Kitty Hawk. And, and the problem with that too, that when a lot of people come here, then they start ticketing and towing. So like, park off the road. If your tires are off the road at all, they can ticket you anywhere. They make Kitty me want to go check mine. <laughs> Always try to keep the tires off the road. Heard. Now if it's a parking spot, your tires are fine. Nice. Very cool. You guys are having fun out there today. Yeah, man. I'm getting back out there with you, bro. You're the man. You're the man. Twice on the real Outer Banks. My man. I keep randomly finding you. There he goes. My tall blonde surfer friend back into the water and I'm gonna go in there with him for just a little bit longer and we're gonna head back up the road.
Hey everybody, if you're still watching, I just had an amazing morning. Came out here a lot longer than I thought I was going to. I actually know that from this style of artwork, that the guy we were just talking to, my buddy James, long blonde hair was out there in the water. He put this sign here. I can just tell by that style of face that he does. He likes to do the stencil work. You can see a lot of his artwork over there at Ashley's Coffee Shop. And I actually have some of his artwork at my house as well. I got the chance to work with him a few years back at Blue Water. Cool cat. And I think my morning has been accomplished. I'm gonna go step back into this busy traffic. I randomly pulled right here on this left and I'm glad I did. All right, everybody. Once again, this is Bennett Street. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one.